Welcome back to the show, y'all. In this video, something I never tried out on trim before. Today, we're going to be trying out the Turtle Wax Wet and Black Tie Shine, guys. We're going to see how this stuff does on trim. All right, now, the reason why I said this stuff is pretty cheap, you can get this for like $3.97 a can at your local Walmart. All right. It says here, Wet and Black Tie Shine. Leaves a high shine, fast drying, no sling. All right, so pretty much what works on tires in most cases, well, as silicon or water base, you can use this product on trim. All right, so here today, I got, as you can see behind me right here, I got some electric trim going on here, kind of. You can tell all the rain and snow and stuff that we had this year. It's kind of taking a toll a little on my trim. This is on my black Ford Explorer, and it's just chilling back in the cut here next to my crib. And, uh, you know, I want to try it out on trim just to see what this stuff will do. So, being this stuff is so cheap, you know, when you buy this, typically you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this for my tires. But at the same time, you could probably use this stuff for your trim. All right, so no further ado, at three ninety seven dollars at Walmart. Let's get into it. Let's see how it does on this truck. All right. So let's switch hands here. And let's get it, man. Shake it up a little bit. All right. So let's hit it. Comes out kind of foamy at first. But quickly dissolves away. So... And this is a 14.5 ounce can. I consider this has been a deal considering this stuff only costs $3.97. You cannot beat the price at 14.5 ounces a can. All right, so as you can see, as the foam clears away, it kind of becomes like just like a clear liquid light substance. As you can see, it's already working, but you don't want to leave it like that. You're going to want to wipe it in. All right. So let's get busy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a, you don't even have to have the cleanest microfiber in the world, really. Just want to get the job done. I have a, like a clean one folded up here. As you can see, this is clean. And it don't have to be the best. It could be one that's stained, but clean like this one. All right, so let's go wipe it in. See what it'll do. And it's doing a great job on the first go. From what I'm getting, it is actually doing a good job. And you can literally see exactly why I stop it. Alright, y'all can see exactly why I stopped right here. This haven't been touched. Just little specks might have got there, but you could tell the difference while I stop right here. Wipe on back. And what makes a bad once you wipe it in like I'm doing here, it doesn't even appear to be greasy or nothing. It's almost like you just dry to the touch, as you can see. So here's some products that you really can use without spending all your money on trim and stuff. Y'all see the difference coming from that side right there. Just that little middle part right there. You can tell I haven't touched it yet. And come on back. Look at here. It just added a hundred times life and appearance to it. See that? That's all it takes. Something simple as this. $3.97 at Walmart. And all you got to do is walk in there and pick it up. You know, you ain't got to order it. And to be honest, a lot of times I hate to order products. I just hate to wait two and three days for them. Sometimes the mail be delayed because of weather conditions. You know, who don't who wouldn't like to walk in the store and order a uh, get a product right over the counter? You know what I'm saying without ordering, man. Because you know, at times these storms be hitting, whether it's hurricanes or whether it's snowstorms or whatever the case might be. Sometimes just delay your packages and stuff, and I'll be like, man, I wish I can go in the store and get it, you know. So let's hit this again. 
Okay, if you go in the store and get it, you ain't got to worry about it. I'm walking down and pick it up like Walmart. Okay, now quickly, like I said, once you spray this on your trim, same thing as tires. Once the foam dissolves away, it becomes very clear in like five seconds, as you can see. It's become like a kind of wet light substance. And when you're using this on trim, you're going to have to wipe it in. So you're going you're gonna to be able to just put it there and walk away from it, you know. Okay, unless you don't mind running all over here, well, then you could. But in most cases, you're going to have to spray it up there and wipe it in with a microfiber cloth. It's going to be the best application. All right, so now let's go ahead on and wipe this in. It doesn't take long. Once you put it up there, you can go ahead and wipe it in, you know, because you want it kind of dry to the touch anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Just want to see how it would do. Now we'll try it on trim that I recall. Especially with this new camera. Some of the videos I do over because the camera quality is better. And some it's best to do it about every year, every two years, because the camera quality improve and the technology of cameras improve every year. So why not come back and do some of these videos? You get the best quality on the same product sometime. But um, anyway, there you have it, though. As you can see, you can see exactly where I stopped at right there. I like that. That looks good. See the results? The results are almost dry to the touch. It just give it rich life as you can go closely in. As you can see, it puts like a low glow sheen on it. At the same time, it doesn't have that husky look. And you can see right here where I stopped to the side right there as well. So you ain't got that husky look. And that's all you can expect from a trim dresser or a tie shine as a trim dresser. So there you have it, man. You know, I like to share stuff. I like to bring and talk about stuff that's cheap, you know. To be honest, um, a lot of this stuff is extremely overpriced out here today. You know, I've just got to keep it real. You know, I mean, I swear it's just extremely overpriced out here, some of this stuff, you know. Got to keep it real. You know, you're paying some of these products, they're charging $30 and $40 for. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. And especially since many products I got, you know, it's a lot of, like, compounds and stuff does the same thing, you know. Um, All-in-ones does the same thing. So it's a waste of money on a lot of this stuff. So in a way, you can get this $3.97. At Walmart, don't want to hold you guys too long. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share my videos out with your family and friends. And until next time, man, y'all know I'm good for it. I'm going to hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.